<laughs> okay. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Black Girl in the World. If you don't know me, you will. And if you do, welcome back. So I wanted to say a dad joke <laughs> to set the mood. <laughs> okay. When does a joke become a dad joke? When? <laughs> when it becomes a parent. <laughs> <laughs> because a dad is a parent. Um, how are you guys today? Um, <laughs> I am so happy for this episode. I'm super excited. We're going to be laughing. It's going to be fun. Like <laughs> what a way to start. <laughs> what a way to start. You can't start any better than that right there, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I just felt like you see where the joke took us. Oh yeah, Appa apparently. Okay. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know. <laughs> I got to <them> right here. <laughs> so my next guest on this podcast has been cracking me up so hard on Instagram. He's pretty popular on TikTok too. With his various skits from that December 21st one, I really like that one. And singing to get into heaven, that was hilarious too. Oh yes, oh, yes, a favorite, a favorite for sure. Oh yeah, for sure. No, yeah, I love that video. I, the, the just making that video was so much fun. Really? Uh, that, was, that was really interesting. Just and then like the whole like like when it came out and then Kirk Franklin responded and then like it was just like whoa. And then Luke, um, I know Luke, um my brother-in-law and luke were like are like best friends they grew up together and stuff so he he knows me through people um <laughs> but um yeah he was like um yeah do a skit to this song man it might it, it should it, it go pop it should pop off it should pop off let's see what happens so yeah yeah it, it, it did some um it did some uh it got some it got some recognition shade room posted it shade room posted it i, I was like <laughs> Cause you know when it come up, you're just like, Whoa. yeah. It's like I'm not this person. I'm now this look, person. this might be fake. This might be fake. Let me click on it, dog. Let me just see. Exactly. Like, right. I was like, Let me just see now. I saw the check. I was like, hey. You got I'm about to make it rain. <laughs> <laughs> we love to see it. I was so happy. I was like, oh my god, look at this guy <laughs> skyrocketing. Let's go. I was like, let's go. I was, I was in my room. I was turned. My roommate, you know, what was going on? He was in the group chat like, what? Are you okay? I'm yeah. like, let's go to Instagram. Just, just hurry up. <laughs> we excited, you know. Yeah. So your bio says, here to bring the comedy relief the world needs. RJ, how are you today? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I need some comedy relief for myself. Uh, um, senior year in college at a &T, um, Shout out Aggies. Oh my gosh, you're so old. Yeah. Uh, okay. Listen, I, I'm trying to keep it young. Okay. I'm trying. I'm trying. <laughs> oh, the bags ain't helping, but it's okay. It's okay. Um, I don't see no <laughs> bags, but you know what? It's the light. It's the light. It's the light bubble. It's a light bubble. I'm telling you right now. <laughs> I'm telling you right now. In person, you'd be like, "Oh boy, he's tired." <laughs> that man, man, been through it. <laughs> but um, but yeah, just going through school and focusing on my career, um, getting my career started. Um, I'm waiting for a lot of the clubs starting to open up. So start doing my stand up. I want to start doing stand up. Go to some open mics. Um, keep keep evolving with my social media for sure. Um, TikTok, TikTok has shown me some love lately. It's been, it's been, uh, it's been playing with me a little bit, but they show me a little love every now and then. Um, Instagram, I'm just, you know, RJ the character, social media, just yeah, we're just, we're just trying to make sure. I'm just trying to get my name out there, get get a get, get my face out there so people can see. Hey, where are you doing it? Um, fun fact, um, my friend and I would send your videos in our little girls group chat on Instagram. Yeah, we do that all the time. We like, it's Kiki. <laughs> we keep keying it up. I, like I, I appreciate that. Thank you. Yeah, um, of course. Thank you. Yeah. 
<laughs> and you see a funny person, you laugh. So definitely. <laughs> that's what it is. So yeah, I laugh through it. So tell me a little bit more about you. You mentioned that you go to school. What's your major? I'm a theater major. Um, okay. so I'm I'm mainly an actor. I want to go into television and film. I love the camera. I love it. And I love being on camera. I love showing out. Um I just I just love being just love acting. I just love entertaining people. So that's my passion, just entertainment. Entertaining, entertaining whoever I can, whoever comes across my path. <laughs> you know, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> I, that's great. Um, that not only do you major in that, but you can also provide that. That's your resume. That's something that you can show people. Look, this is what I got, and you look <laughs> great in the camera. Um. <laughs> it's the, life. the light. It's the light. If I can find it's a good the, light. Everything is the light. It's the lighting. I'm trying to tell you. <laughs> so where are you from? I'm from Raleigh, North Carolina, the real 919. Just saying, um, you know, there's gonna be some hate, but it's okay. The real 919, Raleigh, North Carolina. Um, born in Goldsboro. I only lived there for like a year though. So represent. I know, you can add it on your resume if you want. Yeah, I was in the hospital, it was good. Yeah. Hey, listen. Yeah. Shout out to the doctor. Love you. <laughs> Do you even know the doctor? Hopefully, if I get famous enough, they'll find me. I'll, I'll send them some bread. Thank you. That's Appreciate nice. It. That's good. Yeah, that's for you yeah. in this world. You delivered. You delivered me, so I'm going to deliver back. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Hospital bills was crazy, but that's okay. It's all right. <laughs> but that's all, it's all right. It's all good. It's all good. It's all good. It's all good. <laughs> so, um... Another question. Well, actually, before I get into that other question, mm -hmm. y'all tell me why RJ's initial response to my invitation was, but I'm not a black girl. <laughs> <laughs> you have me crazy. If this. that's the name of the show, I'm thinking to myself now, <laughs> I know the hair, I kind of look like you, but okay. <laughs> oh my she, had to, she had to go that far. I mean, oh, I... I thought it was pretty clear with the base, but uh, okay. <laughs> well, pretty clear Not with the base. All. Listen, whoever I can bring on this podcast, I will do that. Okay. <laughs> we know that now. That's <laughs> no, I said, no, I'm not a black woman. Okay. But I'm, hey, I, I didn't mean I didn't want to be on it. I'll put up, look, I got, I got a wig. I'll put it on. <laughs> you got to put it on. <laughs> Hey y'all! I'm like, hey y'all! <laughs> <laughs> they not ready for that. They not they ready know. for that. They not. They not. not. That'll be one of my characters. Maybe I'll bring it back. You know, so. Of course, uh, I'll bring it back. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> so, what are some some of your influences? Like, who do you look up to? This, like, yeah. I definitely look up to my uh, my mother. She's um she's worked very hard to keep me and my sisters in check. Keep, keep us in, in line. Make sure we're doing the right things. Um, my father, for sure. I'll say my father. My, my father's definitely, um, he's um, he's influenced me uh, to, to get into this career path. He believes that I, I entertain people and I, I should get into it. You know, it's, I mean, I, he was like, he told me one time, I remember he told me, I can't really see you doing nothing else. So, <laughs> like, I can't see you. But I can't see you do nothing else but like on television, film. I can't, I, I can't see you do nothing but on TV. But um, so yeah, him. He, he also helps me financially. So <laughs> the bank of the bank, bank of bank of Reggie. <laughs> she knows about us. <laughs> I'm a, I'm a, I'm a. You know, I work for that company, so it's a great company. We we do that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. The Bank of Ranch. <laughs> we be here for. But uh, nah, I lo love him. Um, every, pretty much every actor or stand-up comedian that like loves. Well, not every single one, because some of them just you know some of them little. The ones that really enjoy, like, really have a passion and really love to do it, like not for just the money and the fame and all that stuff, but really love to just go out or just go on set or go on stage and really just entertain people. Like, you love acting, 
Yeah, nah, nah, I don't I don't care about that money. Come on, let's act. Let's let's go. Let's let's show some let's show out. Show up and show out. So Exactly. Um, yeah, exactly. um who else influenced uh, LeBron James? You know, I thought that was <laughs> Go ahead. Go ahead. It's recording. It's on record. <laughs> go ahead. Say what you was about to say. <laughs> I thought that was Black Panther in the background. <laughs> it is. <laughs> I really did. But um, now that I know, <laughs> it's beautiful. It's no, it's LeBron. I got another LeBron poster here. It's a little, it's a little too much. I'm glad I took it off that wall. But um, it's um LeBron James. Um. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If I if I find some more, it'll just come to me. My family, just my family, really, just because they they get me through it every day. They get me through. So I'm happy that you have that support system because now, I mean, it's hard out here, you know. It's hard out here for a pimp. Yeah. Yep. It's hard out here. It's hard. Really hard, and for your parents <laughs> to be like, yeah, I don't. I'm rooting for you. I'm investing in you. How many parents be doing that? How many black parents be doing that? You know, so I support, you know, black families and love and all that, but we gotta, you know, gotta get together. Yeah, I'll just say that. We we gotta get together. I mean the, the males, the males too now. Yeah. We gotta get together. Take responsibility. We gotta do our thing, you know. Exactly. So um do you have a particular video that felt like, oh, that joint skyrocketed and it gave um, you my room. The the video I did in my room, um, not in my room, but I sung my room by um, Escape. Not what? Escape. No, there's a meeting in my. Yeah, I sung that. I did that oh, in the car. Um, Silk. Silk. I was like, why am I thinking of Escape? What? Escape? I don't know why. Oh. Silk. Silk, meeting in my bedroom. I did a singing video in the car. That video went crazy. That was that was that was my first viral video. Um <laughs> I just I don't know, it's just like it's just a video. You just post it and then you just it just starts coming like, like it just after a while you get like the then it was like da -da 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 -da. oh wait oh okay and then it was like da -da 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 -da. I was like whoa 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 what's going on <laughs> so like I just I was like okay this is going crazy it got to like on Twitter it got to like 10k like around like one or two in the morning so I was like, okay, let me go to sleep. I'm gonna go to sleep, see what happens when I wake up. I'm a little dramatic, you know what I'm saying? I like, I like the movies. I wake up, might see some different numbers. Right, right. What did I see some different numbers? <laughs> but um, that was, and then I realized, and then somebody told me at church, was like, yo, I saw your video um, on Facebook. It's got like 3 million views. I was like, first of all, I don't even have a Facebook. So whoever posted it, <laughs> <laughs> they got three million views. I, I was just representing the car, <laughs> but um, yeah, I, he was like, "Yeah, I got like three million views on all of Facebook." I was like, "Whoa, okay, um, all right." So I put it on TikTok. It, it skyrocketed again. I was like, "Okay, so that I was like, that's my video right there. That's 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 the video I can go to when somebody asked me that. You know, some you know, what was the video that set you off? Bam, that one. I always go to that one." I'm glad you did because that was a funny video. Yeah, <laughs> I, I really like those ones. It always cracks me up. It always cracks me up. I love watching that video. I think my favorite video was when you know how you can um do edit on TikTok. Some uh, a lady had her baby, her child was saw the video. Like the child was watching TV and then she played the video. He turned around and was smiling like hard as I don't know what. And he started laughing. He started laughing. I really enjoyed that. I was like, okay, that's that's beautiful. Uh, now I'm reaching all ages. All right, cool. Great. Uh, I love it. Aren't you happy? So another question <laughs> is 
now that you mentioned that you've felt like you've seen your videos go viral, how do you think you would handle fame? Um, I've seen a lot of people, like I've seen a lot of celebrities go through scandals and, 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 and traumatic times and stuff like that. I, I know what, the, I think I have a, I say I have a great understanding of how I like handle myself in the like atmosphere in the world when I'm getting interviewed and stuff like that. I don't, I know there's certain questions that I'm gonna have to be like, okay, I can't answer that next question. Um, and they're not gonna like that. I'm gonna have to be like, okay, <laughs> like next question. Um, uh, staying out the media, even though I like love being in the media, because I'm gonna love being in the media. I'm gonna love being, you know, but not in that way, not in a negative way, but like, I'm gonna love being in the media, you know, are they doing another movie or are they doing another project? Um, I'm gonna love that, but you know, in the positive sort. Um, I think I can, um, I think if people were to see me in like the way I feel about myself, I think it'd be easier for everybody to just understand like, okay, he's just like, he's just goofy. Like he's just really a character. Like, that's why I call it like people. People gave me that name, the character. Like you're people, like you act like a character. You're just like a character. I'm like, okay. I was like, okay. It's so the more people say, I was like, RJ the character. I'm gonna just call myself that. Let's see what happens. Okay, I guess it sits. I guess that's pretty catchy. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. I was like, I see. I was like, do you want to be called that on this podcast? Because it's it's nice. Yeah, I, I like I like being called a character. I think that's different. Like. I'm a character, but I'm like a human. So like, y'all see me as animated. <laughs> okay, that's cool. All right. Right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's because it's good because it's like you're a personality and a person. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> that's awesome. Like in that. a good way. Always in a good way. Um, oh. <laughs> So about the comedy world, what is it like in the comedy world? Like I've never really hear any of the beef or like the trends or you know who. That's because we're always we're always like we're always happy. Like we we shouldn't we we comedians don't really have beef with each other. We we can't really. The only time we really have beef is like maybe a stand up comedian takes another comedian's joke and uses it or. I don't know. There's not really much beef we can have. I mean, we're just pretty much making people laugh. <laughs> we're making you laugh. Like, we're making you laugh, too, as another comedian. So I don't think really we really have that much beef. I mean, I don't Maybe ego-wise. Some I, I do know some actors can't work with some other actors, which is weird to me, because I would love to work with everybody. <laughs> like, can I please work with everybody? Like, let's work. Let's, let's, let's project it up but i don't know i don't really see a lot of people either. well that's good that like the comedy world is just chill the vibe is what it is um and hopefully more people because i'm seeing it now with like the collaborations of local comedians as well people that are in your area that are like hey you do the same thing i do let's link i think it's great yeah, it's it's good to collab with other uh, people, especially in your area. But it's um what I'm it's really great to travel and like go like collaborate with other people in different cities. Like my homeboy Kyle, you know Killer K. Yeah, uh, yeah, I make videos with him and stuff. But he goes like out of state and does videos with other people. So it's great to have that reach. Um, I want to do that too, but you. Finances we got to get to school. <laughs> It'd be like that. It'd be like that. Um, but that's the goal. So, what are your other goals? Do you feel like what is something that's like? Yes, this is my. These are a few of my. Um, I want people to say like, I had this goal that I want like a phrase. I wanted people to be like, damn. RJ's in like everything. I see this dude like everywhere. That's my goal. I want to be able to be in 
everything, not just comedy, dramas, thrillers, suspense. Like I want to do it all action. I want to, I want to be in all types of different uh, television, um, TV shows. I'm going to be on, I want to have, I would definitely want to have my own sitcom. My goal is to have my own um, sitcom. <laughs> Oh my um, gosh, you're gonna have wanna, Martin. You're gonna be RJ. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna be, I'm, I wanna have a show. Yeah, I wanna have a show like that. Definitely. Some, I wanna have like a, I definitely wanna make a show where it's like 90s based. Like, just like, just a 90s based 2000, 30s, probably 30 to 20, hopefully 20. 20 okay. <laughs> you know, let's get it. Hopefully 2000. Come on now. Okay. I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, um, another goal of mine, um, Oscar, Tony, um, MTV. I want to, you know, I want a little video musical award. I want a VMA. Ooh, I want a VMA. You know, I want a Moon Man. <laughs> I want a little Moon Man. <laughs> a little Moon Man. I want a Nickelodeon thing too. Well, I, you know, the Nickelodeon, the little award thing. I want a little thing too. I want all the awards. Get slime on you. I yeah, would I'll, I'll you. take it. I'll call it out. I'll go upstairs and be like, <laughs> <laughs> "Come on, bring Let's it on. on!" I've been waiting years for this. <laughs> like I've been waiting years for this. Slime me. <laughs> <laughs> I want you to get everything from the 90s show because I will be watching. I oh. need to I want you to get your own reality show where you pick out somebody and you're like, I hand you this rose on MTV. I wish that for you. Yes, I want to host. Okay, now this might be a little, I'm not being petty or not hating on Steve, but I want to take Steve's job. Let's get all Jeopardy. You know what I'm saying? I want to host Jeopardy. Maybe a couple of episodes. Let's see how it goes. If, I, if they want to keep me, if they want to keep me, I'll stay. But I want to, you know, I want to go on Jeopardy. You know, I want to, yeah. <laughs> retire sometime. I'm just saying. Oh, okay. Oh, oh. It's coming. It's coming. And I'm going to be right there at the door like, hey, how y'all doing? Hey, how y'all doing? <laughs> I can't even put an application. It's like, yeah. <laughs> Or hopefully another show that come out because you know it's like nowadays. I mean, shows are they be popping shows out like nothing. Oh so yeah. Hopefully a show that's new and has the Jeopardy feel. <laughs> or the Andy show. I'll take anybody. I'm, I'm here. Let's. <laughs> I'm here. How you doing? I don't really care. Back here. Hire me. You. <laughs> Hire me. <laughs> hey, we gotta. We gotta do what we gotta do. So mm. what what are, I guess, some tips that you have for other people who are like, I wanna start comedy, I'm scared, or just the younger folk, or um, I guess seeing yourself years ago, what would you say? I know it's cliche, be yourself. I know it's cliche, but I'd say that to anybody and everybody, be yourself. Don't, don't let anybody force you or try to get you to be anything you don't want to be. Be you. Can't be nobody but you. Can't nobody treat you better but you. Um, when it comes to comedy, if you want to get into comedy, don't force it. Do not force it. Do not try to be funny. That's the whole point. That's the whole goal. Don't try to be funny. Try to make it natural. Um, Try to make it a natural, get it in a natural state. Some people can't get to that state. They just do comedy and they just can't get do it naturally. I mean, okay, that's cool. And they're still successful. And that's cool. Great. <laughs> but um, it's it's just easier when you when you do it naturally. Um, learn your comedy history. Like some of these some of these um, millennials don't like to watch old school stuff, uh, and that's cool. Uh, that's cool. I watch every all types of comedy Richard Pryor um I, I watch Bill Murray I watch everything Will Ferrell old Will Ferrell old Jim Carrey um I watch it all um in I have uh I've learned the art of storytelling I think that's also helpful like like if you're around your friends like tell a story and see how funny you can like make it. I know that sounds weird, but I told somebody that one time. I was like, "Okay, you you want to try something?" I was like, "Go 
Next time you're with your friends, tell your friends a story. Tell your friends about your day and see if you can make it funny. See how funny you can make it. Make, let, let's see what you can do. Or just tell any story and try to make it funny. Um, that's why I like, I want to do stand up because I like talking to people. I like telling people about my life. And I'll make it, I'll, you know, <laughs> laugh at my pain. That's good. Out. Okay. <laughs> let's take it up a notch. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. Okay. Let's take it up. But I'm cool with it. I'm, you know, all, through all my experiences, I learned to laugh through it and smile through all the pain. And I think that's great. I think that's amazing. Cause, um, not to cut you off at all. But, oh, no, you, no, you but like two things that I realized is that one, people love to see when something goes wrong and two people like realness. And it's really great how awkward you can be. And it's so funny. And that's just you as a person. Like, like I'm just so <laughs> awkward. But because people are like, oh my God, you're so funny. I'm like, I am? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know. <laughs> it really is what it is. Like you say, you got to be real about it. You can't force awkwardness. You can't force anything. You got to just be real. Gotta be real. <laughs> Gotta be real with it. So I really appreciate that you came on the podcast with me, and I really hope that you come back. I do. Girl, hit me up. <laughs> hit me up. <laughs> Got you. Hit me up. <laughs> yes. uh, thank you so much for being here. I'm very grateful. <laughs> thank you for inviting me. Thank you for having me. How y'all doing? But, you know, thank you for thank you for watching. Hi, thank you for watching. And if yeah. you guys made it this far, <laughs> thank you. Um, and feel free to check out the other episodes and check out RJ's. Can you share your social media with everybody? Um, RJ the character R J T H E C H A R A C. T E R. I'm gonna say it again. <laughs> Grab your pen and paper. Okay. R J T H E C H A R. He spelled it out. A C. Yeah, I'll stop it for you. A C T E R. There you go. I got you. I got you. Look, uh, once you probably once you get to R J and the, it should probably it should come up. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. I mean. Hello. <laughs> I'm gonna be I'm gonna be posing like this. I'm, I'm, I'm in midair. <laughs> like, I'm like, I, look, I look like I'm a Miguel background, like a like a Miguel album. <laughs> oh my god, that's where I found. Okay. That, that was the image I was going for. I saw the like the background, the color. I was like, this is this is literally Miguel's. Okay, bet. God, that was funny because my photographer was like, I was like, I'm gonna just jump and just take a picture. He was like, okay. I'm like, okay. <laughs> no, that's great. The album was good. Okay. <laughs> I love that picture. I'm, I'm a kid. I might keep that up for a long time. I'm just, I just love that. Picture. I'm just... You should. <laughs> it's a great picture. <laughs> but thank you so much. And I'm not going to take too much of your time. So just be safe out there. 